All right, guys, so uh, we're just getting ready here for a dyno trip tomorrow. Uh, the tides look pretty good. A little bit of wind, but uh, we're gonna try to uh, do our best. So uh, hopefully we get some good footage for you. All right, guys, so we're on the way out. It's a little bumpy ride this morning, to say the least. All right, guys, so it's slack tide right now. Um, we're going to do a little exploring, looking for uh, more fish. Bigger fish is the goal, of course, but um, any kind of fish is good, of course. So you can see all my pins here. If you guys like and subscribe, um, I'll send you all these locations. Just like and subscribe. And uh, clearly there's not much fish on the screen there. There will be, though. So I'm thinking I have a shaker on right now, but once it gets a little closer to the boat, it starts pulling kind of hard and I was thinking it might start growing. All right guys, we're on the board number one. Jumbo shaker. On the eggs, salmon eggs. I guess salmon eggs are a decent bait for sturgeon. We prefer eel, but today we're trying to try salmon eggs, but beautiful fish. Service from accurate. Right. Hey, just chilling behind the boat there, huh? Yep. Let's go to this side now, huh?
know how big you think guesstimation. Looks like a big keeper to be big, honest. Big plot, yeah. Careful with that rod tip. I got you, I got you. Bring it in, measure it, yeah. Oh, use the rag, bro. You got rag? Yeah, 100% use the rag. Oh, that's such a nice pick right there already. All right, let her go. Here we go. Nice, bro. We're on, guys. We are on. There you go. No, you want to fight no, this no, rock. No, no, no. Where's your. Uh... Harold, I want no, you. No, 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 no. Bro, 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 take it. We're gonna get more. No! You said you want. Stop yelling at me. Here, sir. Go, go, go. <laughs> what are you go. talking about? <sighs> Why are you windy? <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna grow. I, I loosened the drag, but uh, you can probably tie it. It's gonna grow. It's gonna take off and get you. Whew. Are you winning? Bro, you know how it is. <laughs> oh, he might go under the boat. Dude, you, you saw all three of those bites. I'm like sleeping, man. Dude, he slapped him hard. Don't lose it, bro. Let's see what we got here. Oh, Dang, nice. no, he, ha he can't be done yet. Oh, he's upside down. He's good. There's no way it could be done yet. He's good. That was like one minute. <laughs> I'm a beast. No. <laughs> <laughs> on that how could that really one minute look at those eggs they're milked like completely so that's a keeper it's a keeper um looks like a nice female with lots of black caviar in here um you know, this fish is interesting. It, at first, it, it bit nicely. It fought good for like a minute. And then, and then it just flopped upside down. So, you, I don't know. Why is that? I don't know, man. Once you get them upside down, they tire out pretty quick. Anyway, um, guys, we're going to release this fish. We don't want to keep it out of the water too long. Man, these fish are so beautiful. Uh, oh, man. And it's a healthy one. Now she wants to fight. Always use a rag, guys. I learned the hard way a couple times. Ugh. Man, she's so sharp. All right. Is that a good angle? No, I think you gotta stand right here on this side of me. Right here. All right. Bro. Look guys, these eggs, that's what you call milk. See how they're white? Good quality eggs. Well, we're on our second soak. So far we got one shaker 30 minutes in and then like 10 minutes later we casted the same rod out and got hit with a nice jumbo keeper. And then uh, maybe what, 15 minutes later we got another keeper. So right now we're still on the second soak. So, so far it's a pretty good day. What do you think of the day? Beautiful, great conditions. Weather's laying down a little bit. It's a good day, good day to be surgeon fishing.
So you gotta have a good deckhand. Harold, my buddy here, he uh, he noticed all three bites. I was sleeping, and uh, we got all three fish. So it's good to have a good deckhand. So glad to have Harold here with me today. All right, guys, I guess we're on. I was having a tinkle up front. Uh, luckily, Harold was watching the rods. Jumbo shaker. We'll take it. How's the bite? Pretty good. Then we had a... He came off? He came off? Yep. Three for four, guys. Thanks to Harold. <laughs> Good thing you got a spotter with you, dude. Yeah. All right, guys, we're hooked up. My buddy Harold's gonna grab the camera. I didn't even see the bite. I mean, I saw it after Harold told me, but ooh, it's a nice one fish, guys. Ooh, it's a nice one fish. Let me know if you need help. Good fish, guys. What do you got going on there, dude? Uh, it's a, uh, it's just, it looks like it's a dinosaur, a uh, surgeon. Man, just big head shakes. Just, look at that, just. Oof. Let me know if you need me to move rods. I think you're underneath them all right now. Why don't you tell everybody how you had to find a new string of fish and, you know, well, do, do a little bit of hunting and pecking. We were struggling guys, um, we are struggling and my buddy Harold took the wheel and he was looking for fish and he found a string of fish and he found, you know, and he put us on them. I dropped the anchor, so I did half the work. Half the work, yep. Man, it's just big head shakes, man. Big head shakes. Big head shakes. Woo! Uh, uh, don't let him take your lunch money. Nice. The rail technique, guys. Just use your knee right there. That little soft spot. Good work. So what do you think about these contour lines and all the... I learned, you know, the contour lines, once you find where the fish are like going through, just find that one contour line and stick to it. You know, uh, before I would try to like go all over the place, but you know, find them on that particular contour line and just stick to it. Man, that's some big head shakes on this fish. Number three on this uh, reel today, I got a service today, uh, not today, but last week from Acura, so. Shout out to Accurate. Yeah. Man, just head shaking. I think it's legal. I think we flossed it legally. Flossed it. On the 808 Accurate BV400. Let's see if we can get a double. There he is right there. A little bit right there. Saw him in the backwash. Yeah, this uh, San Diego tuna rail take might just put it right there and just like oh nice crank on nice it. oversized. Hand me my phone real quick. I want to yep. snap. No, you're good. You can just keep recording while handing my phone. Dead out here, guys, but I, mean, I did get this one. Can you 
hold the rod yep, and uh, record at the same time? Yep. Gotcha. Got it? Yeah. It's upside, she's upside down. You want me to grab the grips? Yeah, grips. Okay, you got it? Okay. I got the, I got the rod. Maybe just right here, just leave her. Okay, hold on. There you go. I'd love to get a picture with both of us. Um, we just put our head on the, uh, let's straighten her out right here and then let's get centered up in this ramp. Cool. All right. Put right. your head right there. Yeah. All right, guys. So we got this beautiful fish. It's about 68 inches. We're going to release her real quick here. Um, you definitely don't want to keep these fish out of the water too long. Um, just a beautiful fish, man. All right, guys. Woo. Who needs deadlifts? All right, guys, so recap of the day. Uh, we went four for five, one oversized, two keepers, one shaker, and we lost one fish. Not a bad day. We fished almost two tides. Uh, it was a little rough. Uh, Grizzly Bay was definitely rough on the way in. But it was a it was a good day. Me and my buddy Harold had a good time. Did you have a good time, bro? It was a great time, man. Good time. Any learning experiences from today? Every time you're on the water is a learning experience, man. So what'd you learn today? It's got a rough tide, man. You gotta play with it. You gotta make sure you're in the right lines. Make sure you're centered up on the fish. Make sure you move when you're not getting bit. There you have it, guys. Here's some bonus content for you guys that watch my video till the end. Here's a bite we were having uh, on the left rod there you see, and it was just on there for like at least 10 seconds before we realized it. Eventually, uh, someone's gonna realize it and get it. At least I hope so. There you go, better late than never. Yeah, you got it. Shaker. You want that can of water? You want to go for it? You want the net or no? Is it going to grow when it comes to the boat? It's a striper. Could be. No, it's probably like a sturgeon now. Yeah. Oh, sturgeon. Maybe, maybe sturgeon. Okay, let me know though. So one of this one. Yeah, yeah, one of the other one. That's a fish. Reel down. You're up. That had to be on, bro. That was such a good pump. Is he on? Something wrong. Okay, good, good. Did the camera, can you move so the camera can see you better? Yeah. Hey, I just called that too. We were just talking. All right, guys. We're gonna go halibut today, but uh, conditions weren't the best. So I uh, ended up going sturgeon here in a 106 degree day and got our second hookup of the day. You wanna flop this yellow rod open? Yeah, yeah, I would love to help you, sir. Here you go. Ooh, sorry, that hit you in the face. Sorry about that. Another, uh, another solid jumbo shaker. Yeah. Let him go, let him grow. Here, just pop the hook off. All right, guys, so I'm just gonna pop the hook off this fish. Nice and barbless, just bam. Good job, bro. 